Setting up a voltage sense suitcase feeder is a common place for many industries relying on portable wire welding. Here are some tips to help get you started with using a Miller Arc Reach feeder powered by a big blue engine driven welder. Always read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully. Never use an engine driven welder inside a home or garage even if doors and windows are open. When first hooking up an Arc Reach feeder in a big blue, the auto process select feature will automatically set the big blue into the correct welding process. Flux core self shielding when the feeder is hooked up into the electric negative and MIG or flux core with gas shielding if hooked up into the electropositive. Also, there are a few self-shielded wires intended to operate in the electropositive, which will still run a gray arc in the MIG or flux core gas shielding process. Traditionally, voltage sense feeders only enabled wire feed speed control at the suitcase, requiring changes to the voltage to be made back at the power source. With ArcReach technology now standard on Miller voltage sense feeders, any big blue with ArcReach will be capable of adjusting voltage at the feeder without the need for an additional control cable, therefore eliminating trips back to the power source. After the feeder is hooked up to the welding leads, it's good to run through some checks with your equipment. Verify that you have the correct drive roll size and type. Also, if the drive roll has two sizes, the size facing up is the size that is set. With the wire gun, do a visual inspection to verify there are no kinks or visual damage on the length of the whip. If so, a liner inspection should be performed to determine if it needs to be replaced. A liner inspection may also be required if you feel excessive or abnormal rubbing as the wire runs through the whip. The final tip I'll share today will be proper pressure of your drive rolls. If the pressure is too tight, you can deform the wire which can cause erratic behavior at the arc. If the pressure is too loose, the wire can slip, causing the wire to burn back into the tip. To set the proper drive roll pressure, aim the gun at a 45 degree angle, about two inches above a block of wood. Start with no pressure on the wire and press and hold the trigger. Gradually increase the drive roll pressure until the wire stops slipping, then give the knob an additional half turn and you'll be all set. These were some tips to help get started using a suitcase feeder with a Miller Big Blue. For more information, please refer to your owner's manual or to millerwelds.com.